So a while back I stumbled upon a uh, video on YouTube demonstrating the same thing we're going to demonstrate now. Um, I can't remember who it was, but if you, if you do a little bit of Googling, you can kind of come across it, and there's a bunch of people that, that does the same demonstration. But anyhow, the, the guy had six nuts, and he put it on a, on a piece of cardboard. In this case, we're going to use a, a DVD, and he put them all like so, where there's all kind of touching and in this pattern. And then he took a, a pretty heavy piece of wire and a battery. This is a pretty hefty piece here. And he reached through the middle of that and he just did a quick tap and that was all he did and the interesting thing about that is it magnetized the nuts just as it did here these nuts are magnetically stuck together the weird part about this is it'll stay like this I assume indefinitely at least for me it's days have went by and it'll stay together once you break them apart it, it loses the the magnetism like it, it's gone and it seems to be right when you right when you break them apart so I wanted to do a little bit of experimentation I'm not sure who else has has done this or not but the one thing I thought that would be kind of a neat trick would be if we took some alligator clips and we clipped them and then charged it if it would um, if it would still work Meaning that if we if we broke it, but we kept the connection through the alligator clips, if it would still hold us magnetic charge, and we're gonna we're gonna demonstrate that here too. We need more hands, more people. It's really hard to do this at, on a desk. Two hands. Here we go. Charge it, or whatever you want to call this. And there, they suck together. And as you can see, again, they're they're magnetized. But if we were to break the center, we still keep conductivity around the rest of it. Will it lose its um, connection? And uh, I've already done this. It, it actually still loses this connection. We'll we'll demonstrate here. But I just pulled that apart just a just a little bit. And uh, actually, if you look, it, it still is holding a magnetized position. I've pulled them apart. There's a little bit of a gap in there. I don't know if you can see that, but it's still, still stuck together. So let's pull these alligator clips off and pull it apart just a little bit. Nope, it still still keeps it. So I don't really think it has anything to do with the fact that it's, it's become... become like a conductivity issue. I don't think it's the fact that there's electrons running in here or some type of perpetual motion or anything like that. Um, I think it has to do with the magnetic field uh, is still completing its, I don't know what you want to call it, its own magnetic field circuit, so to speak. Uh, I'm not really sure what the words are to, to say that. But you pull them apart a hair, they still come back together, but you pull them apart all the way like that, now, now it's done. If they've lost their magnetism. Which I find really weird. I mean, it doesn't really make any sense. I'm sure there's some residual magnetism going on. I mean, we're probably kind of magnetizing the nuts, so to speak. But uh, for the most part, once you um, once you pull them apart, it loses it. So we'll do that again. So right now, the, they, they are not stuck together by any means. And we magnetize it. Okay, they're stuck together. And I mean, they're stuck good too. It's not like they're just a little bit stuck. I mean, you you can pick this up. There's a lot of weight here. These are pretty big nuts. But again, I pull apart just a hair, and I have a gap in there, and they are still stuck together. Okay. If I pull them apart a lot, then then they lose it. It's, it's gone. There's some residual. I mean, you can see a little bit of residual there. And I think, like I said, we're just kind of over the course of doing this experiment over and over, magnetizing the nuts. But um, it uh, really doesn't, um, I don't quite understand it, and I think the um, the guy behind the uh, the whole concept is Ed um, Lidscallion, I think I'm saying his name right, he's the guy that did Coral Castle. But anyhow, it's a cool experiment to show everybody. If you got a DVD, you just sit, sit your nuts out there like that on a DVD and add some juice in the center, and um, 
that's it. It just sticks them together. And I mean, just like that, it only takes about a second. Of course, you want to use some heavy duty wire, you'll get, get burnt. Or, you know, you're dead shorting a battery too, so I'm sure that's not really good. But, but yeah, I mean, they are, they are stuck together. It, it's kind of weird. It's a different, different, um, um, experiment to, to show others, but, uh, pretty cool.